Hey there, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you guys how to make an interactive PDF flipbook ebook. So, do you want to learn how to make a flipbook for free? Well, it's actually really simple, and I created this flipboard pretty quickly and easily. So, the very tool that we'll need to begin is called Flip HTML5. There are a ton of different flipbook tools and websites to use, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using Flip HTML5. It looks really professional and gives us a ton of options to choose from when editing our flipbook. So to start things off, on its free plan, you can upload up to 5 files per day. And each file supports up to 500 entire pages. Quite a large limit if you ask me. The caveat is that there will be a watermark and an ad at the bottom of your flipbook. It doesn't really get in the way unless you're really making these flipbooks on a professional and commercial level. If you are making flipbooks professionally or commercially, definitely consider upgrading to a more premium pricing plan. So this is what the viewers will see where the ad is. And at the moment, there is no ad or the watermark right here. You can view it and close it, and once you do, the flipbook is now viewable. So to start making our flipbook, make sure you have your documents ready. I recommend making your documents in Canva. Alternatively, you can also use Word or WordPad even to create your document. Essentially, what you're going to be doing is designing everything in Canva, just like this template right here. Simply save it as a PDF file, and then upload it to your Flip HTML5 account. As you can see, by clicking on Upload, you can then easily drag and drop your file. You can upload PDF files, PowerPoint files, PNGs, JPEGs, and even Word files for it to analyze. Feel free to browse for your specific file or simply drag and drop it here. So then we'll move on to the editing mode, where we can customize the book info and design. We have a lot of general settings here, previous or next buttons, and a ton of other options that we can enable or disable. Things like a preloader setting, display settings, or even a QR code for easy access anywhere. You can even customize certain details like book margins, of the top, bottom, left, and right. You can even customize the toolbar settings with a host of features right there. Customizing the entire flipbook theme is also really easy. Simply go to themes, and there are a ton of different pre-made themes to choose from. However, a good amount of them are really only for pro users. Here, we can try clicking on one of these themes, and then click on apply to see the changes in color and on the toolbar. There are also different preset colors for the background as well. So we can choose this one for our flipbook theme. There are even some cool special effects for our background. Feel free to choose one, apply it, and see the effect firsthand. Then there are also a good amount of other settings worth mentioning. By choosing the page flip settings, we can change the flip mode, direction, and the page display. We can even change the flip direction to be either vertical or horizontal. You can choose different page modes easily. I'm going to choose this double page, and when you flip it, you'll see two pages instead of one. It may not look good on mobile though, since mobile screens are quite narrow, and you might want to stick for a single page mode for mobile use. You can also preview your flipbook on different devices, whether it be a desktop, tablet, or a mobile device. As you can see, the double page mode really looks, eh, alright. Now, once you're done customizing your flipbook, all you really need to do is click on the copy button. That will give you a link so that people with the link can view your flipbook. You might be wondering if the flipbook will be hosted with Flip HTML5, and the answer is both yes and no. You can host it with the site if you want that page flipping effect, or you can even download it as a interactive PDF file. It won't have the effect though, but it'll definitely still have that flipbook feel. If you want to still download it and keep the page turning effect, feel free to host it on your own website or server. You can do this by embedding your flipbook on your website by going to share, then embed on website, and copying the iframe code. 
As you can see, making a flipbook is free and really easy. There are a ton of other features that you can use, but now you have a basic understanding of how to convert Word or PDF files into a beautiful interactive flipbook. And that's all the time we have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. Thank you so much again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.